Practice and homework lesson 3.2. Place value of decimals. Write the value of the underlying digit. Number 1, 0 0.287 or 0 and 287 thousandths. Now here we have 0 in the 1's place, 2 in the 10's place, 8 in the 100's place, and 7 in the 1,000's place. And now we look at the underlying digit, and it's 8. And it's under the 100's place. And our answer would be 8 hundredths, or 0 0.08. Number 2, 5.349, or 5 and 349 thousandths. We have 5 in the 1's place. 3 in the tenths place, 4 in the hundredths, and 9 in the thousandths place. And we'll look at the underlying digit, which is 3, and it is under the tenths place. So our answer would be 0 0.3 or 3 tenths as such. Number three, 2.704, or 2 and 704 thousandths. 2 is in the ones place, 7 is in the tens place, 0 is in the hundredth place, and 4 in the thousandths place. And the underlying digit is 4, which is under the thousandths place. So our answer would be 0. Point zero zero four or four thousandths. Thousandths. Number four, nine point one five four or nine and one hundred fifty four thousandths. Well, 9 is in the 1's place, 1 is in the 10's place, 5 is in the 100's, and 4 is in the 1,000's. Now, the underlying digit is 1, and it is under the 10's place. So that would make our answer 0 0.1 or 1 tenth. Number five, 4.006 or 4 and 6 thousandths. 4 in the ones place, 0 in the tens, 0 in the hundreds, and 6 in the thousandths. So our answer would be 0 0.006 or 6 thousands thousands number six seven point two five eight or seven and two hundred fifty eight thousands again seven in the ones place two in the tenth place five in the hundredths place and eight in the thousandths place. The underlying digit is five, which is under the hundredths place, so our answer would be 0 0.05 or five hundredths. Hundredths. And that's how we do it. Now on to the next questions. Write the number in two other forms. Number seven, our number is 0 0.326. Well, in word form, 
this would be three three hundred twenty six thousandths or we could write it as three times one over ten plus two times one over a hundred plus six times one over a thousand and now these are the two forms of writing it number eight we have eight point five one seven which can be written as in word form eight and five hundred seventeen thousandths or we can write it as eight times one plus five times one over ten plus one times one over one hundred plus seven times one over one thousand now for number nine we have zero point nine two four and the two forms that can be written as first in word form is nine hundred twenty four thousandths and the second form we can write it as nine times one over ten plus two times one over one hundred plus four times one over one thousand and finally number ten one point zero seven five which can be written as one and seventy five thousandths or it can be written as one times one plus seven times one over a hundred plus five times one over a thousand now for the next set of questions we have number eleven in a gymnastics competition Paige's score was thirty seven point zero two five what is Paige's score written in word form well, 37.025 is the same as 37 and 25 thousandths. Number 12. Jake's batting average for the softball season is 0 0.368. What is Jake's batting average written in expanded form? So they're asking for 0 0.368, which is Jake's batting average, to be written in expanded form okay so how do we do that well first we, we see that this is 368 thousandths so the answer is 3 times 1 over 10 plus 6 times 1 over 100 plus 8 times 1 over 1000 now write math write five decimals that have at least three digits to the right of the decimal point. Write the expanded form and the word form for each number. So our first decimal is going to be 0 0.123 and that is going to turn into 123 thousandths. And our second decimal is going to be 1.345. That's going to turn into 1 and 345 thousandths. I'm going to scroll down a little bit just so we can have more page. I'm going to erase what we've already written. Now our third decimal is going to be 4.268 and that's going to turn into 4 and 268 thousandths. Now for our next decimal it's going to be 6.126 6. and that will turn into 
six and one hundred twenty six thousandths. Now for our fifth and final decimal, I want to choose zero point one one one. And that's going to turn into one hundred eleven thousandths. Now for the let's check question number one. When Mindy went to China, she exchanged one dollar for six point five eight nine one. What digit is in the hundredths place of six point five eight nine? So what we're looking for is the digit that is in the hundredths place of this number right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to write that number out again. And this time, we're going to label our place values. So we have, I'm going to do it in pink. We have 1 as 6. We have the tens the hundredths, and the thousandths. And our question tells us that we're looking for the hundredths. And the one that is in the hundredths place is 8. What digit is in the hundredths place? 8 is in the hundredths place. Number 2. The diameter of the head of a screw is 0 0.306 inches. What is this number written in word form? Well, 0 0.306 inches turns into 306 thousandths inches. Now, number three. Each car on a commuter train can seat 114 passengers. If the train has seven cars, how many passengers can the train seat? So what we're looking for is how many passengers can the train seat? Well, we know that the train has seven cars, and that in each train, or each car, we have 114 passengers. So if one car can fit 114 passengers, how many can seven cars? Well, all we have to do is multiply. We do 114 times 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Carry the 2. 7 times 1 is 7. Plus the 2 is 9. 7 times 1 is just 7 again. So, we have 790 eight passengers passengers that the train can seat number four what is the value of the expression well here we have in parentheses nine plus fifteen divided by three plus two well remember our pem does parentheses exponents multiplication division addition and subtraction, parentheses comes first. So in the parentheses, we have 9 plus 15. We have 15 plus 9. 9 plus, 15, 9 plus 5 is 14. Put the 4, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. That's 24. Now we have 24 divided by 3 plus 2. Two. When we check PEMDAS, we see that there's no exponents, there's no multiplication, but we have division next, and it's 24 divided by 3. It's 24 divided by 3 is 3 divided by 24. Now, in the ones place, how many times does 3 fit into 24? Into 2. Well, it doesn't fit into 2, so we got to go to 24. How many times does 3 fit into 24? Well, we see that it fits 8 times. And 8 times 3 is 24. 
We subtract those, negative is zero. So now we have eight plus two. Well, we know eight plus two is just equal to 10. So we have a value of 10. Number five, Danica has 15 stickers. She gives three to one friend and gets four from another. What expression would match the words? Okay, well, we have to make an expression based off the words. So we know that Danica starts with 15. She starts with 15. And she gives three. She gives three. Now, if she's giving them, she's losing three. She's not gaining three, she's losing three. So we're gonna do subtract three. Then she gets four from another friend. She gets four, she adds four to her collection. So now she adds four. And this expression would match the words. Number six, there are 138 people seated at the tables in a banquet hall. Each table can seat 12 people. All the tables are full except for one. How many full tables are there? So if we have 138 people and each table can seat 12 people, we know that there has to be a certain amount of tables for every people, which is 12. So we're just going to divide 138 by 12 to figure out how many full tables there are. Well, how many times does 12 go into 1? Zero, right? How many times does 12 go into 13? Well, 12 goes to 13 once. And 1 times 12 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. And we drop down the 8. Now we have 18. Now how many times does 12 go into 18? Well, 12 can only go into 18 once. So 12 times 1 is 12. And 8 minus 2 is 6. And 1 minus 1 is just 0. So we have 11 with a remainder of six. Now the question is, how many full tables are there? Well, there's only 11 full tables. 11 full tables.